Yo guys, what's up? It's Phil from Prodigy Productions and I welcome you to a new tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I will show you some easy uh, animation tips in Adobe After Effects. I'm here in After Effects CS4. Uh, let's start with a new comp. Uh, you can do that comp whatever you want, the settings. I use 720p uh, HD. Uh, hit OK. Also the duration doesn't matter. Okay, so now first of all I'm going to do a new solid for the background just for uh, the video so it looks a little bit more interesting. I do the effect generate ramp on here. Uh, let's set that on here and that's a little bit feathered out. Okay, so in the middle I'm doing a really light blue and in the outside a little bit a darker blue something like that that's okay that will work for now okay so let's create a new solid make that black and we call that arrow uh, now I'm gonna use the shape tool and um, draw a shape here and this should look a little bit like an arrow I'm scaled that a little bit down something like that Okay, so this should look like an arrow, so you can also use pictures of uh, the internet or your arrow can look more uh, better, yeah, you can play around with the settings or you can also animate other objects and other pictures. Okay, now with the arrow layer selected, I'm going to window and then motion sketch. So that will bring up a new window here. Uh, the capture speed I'm going to 50 percent that's all everything's okay and now if I hit start capture I can draw here a line through my composition and these little points you see there uh, these are all position keyframes so now we're done and our arrow is now following this line okay now the movement is really hard so I select my solid hit UU that brings up my keyframes. I'm selecting the keyframes. Now you can hit F9 or you can go with the right click to keyframe assistant and do the easy ease or SIZ with F9. Okay, now the movement is a little bit uh, smoother. Now I I want to do the arrows following the, the line. So now it's just stay uh, still there and following the line but I want to do the arrow is following the line okay yeah by the way sorry for my bad English I'm not that good uh, okay now I select the layer arrow and go to layer transform and then auto orient now I hit orient along path that means my arrow should follow the line here we draw it. hit OK so now should my arrow yeah, my arrow falling at the line, but it's a little bit weird. So I'm uh, select layer, hit R. That brings the rotation, and that should be 90 degrees. So that should work well. Okay, now my arrow is now following my line. Looks a little bit uh, weird, but okay. So that's the first uh, quick tip I want to show you. And now you can do some really cool things with this uh, point we've got here with this position of the arrow. So you can do a new solid, make that black, uh, call that particular, hit OK. Now we can bring the effect trap code particular on it. And yeah, let's go to the particle section first and let's change the color to black so you can see it better. So yeah, now you can see my particles here. If I now go here on the emitter, uh, select my arrow layer, hit P for the position, go now back to particles. And now here you can see position X and Y of particular. Uh, if we now hit Alt and the stopwatch, uh, this window will go up. Now you can, with the pick whip tool, can go down here to the, our arrow solid and select the position. Okay, so now we've got uh, 
Now we've got a little text in here that says the position of our particular system should be the position of the arrow. If you now hit enter or OK, uh, the particles are now, yeah, it looks really cool. Now you can play around with the settings of particular. You can hear box, sphere, whatever you want. Uh, point, OK, now the particles per second a little bit higher. Uh, you can turn the velocity down, that will look really cool, because now we have the line. Uh, yeah, you can just simply play around with the settings of particular. You can the particle life turn down, so they are not as long as now. You can change around with the particle type, close sphere, whatever. Uh, yeah, you can here set the color to over life, so you're here is a new window now, color of life. You can here use the presets or you can simply make a new one. If you double click on this little uh, buttons right here, uh, you can set the color whatever you want. Now you can see at the birth my particles are gray and they get bluer and bluer. Uh, you can yeah go to the physics and turn the gravity a little bit on so the particles are falling down. That always looks really cool. Or you can change the uh, yeah aux system. You can turn that on continuously. That's really cool. So uh, if your particles were born and go a little bit out, there are more particles. They're born out of one particle. You know what I'm s trying to say? So it's like a little bit of a firework and you can also play with these settings around. Uh, what also every time cool is if we go here to toggle switch and we turn the mode of the particle layer to, for uh, example to overlay or something. Uh, that brings always a cool effect, you can play around with that. And also a cool thing to do is if you make a new solid, we call that lens flare. Go uh, to the effect and presets, search for lens flare, bring that effect on this layer, change the transform mode to screen. Okay, now if I'm going to my flanner, flare sender, sorry, uh, with alt and I hit the stopwatch, I can use the pick whip tool to again uh, grab the position of my arrow layer. And if now I'm shutting off my arrow layer, I have a little uh, lens flare here that is following this, uh, yeah, this line we draw. So you can do really, really cool uh, animations with that and it's really easy. Okay, I hope I could help you something and you can learn something from this tutorial. Uh, feel free to check out my homepage, my Facebook fan page, and yeah, I will be happy if you give me a thumbs up or a comment. Uh, yeah, that's for now. Thanks for watching.